I, I separated the, the uh, dog from the uh, clay and uh, so I can work on the uh, dog's body a little bit more. I also reattached the head. I came down this morning or this afternoon to uh, work on the uh, clay and the head had fallen down on the floor. So it's taken quite a beating, but uh, it didn't. It, the, the clay was hard because of the uh, coldness of the studio. And so it didn't do any damage, which is good. It's warm now, so I can work with it. But uh, I tell you, this dog does not want his head. Time to play with some clay. Anyway, that's what I'll be doing today is working on the dog and uh, then hopefully reconnecting him to the uh, clay. I forgot how I had this uh, connected to the base, but it's been two years, so I'm not sliding myself or not remembering. I had the whole thing held on by one screw. I'll show you when I get ready to attach it how I had it done. I wanted to make it easy for the foundry to be able to take it apart. All right, I'll be right back. All right, what I, would, what I did was I ran a three inch screw through the forehead of the uh, dog right down into the body of the clay. And uh, I'm still not certain that's going to keep it in place, but I had to try. When you can see the muscles, you did tend to also see what causes the look on a heart dog's face when he shows a little bit of a emotion and uh i like those maquettes that i got for dog and the wolf I'm also working from dog pictures that I've got of uh, dingoes, American dingoes. They're also called the Carolina uh, dog as well. The old movie by Walt Disney called Old Yeller, that was a Carolina dog. That was an American dingo. I didn't know that. I thought it was a big yellow lab, but it uh, was an American dingo or Carolina dog. Shows how much I know about dogs. <laughs>
I'm using the texture of my uh, serrated edged tool, wire tool, to give some direction to the fur as best I can. I've never done this before. I've done other dogs, but uh, I've never tried this technique. I want to smooth out the uh, fur just a little bit on the tail, even though it was fluffy and all that stuff. I don't want it too ridiculous. Okay, some of this I'm going to have to do underneath the dog. And I want to work on these paws a little bit too. All right, I'm putting the uh, dog back on the base. Lines up perfectly. I have a uh, screw that holds it on to the center block that I've got on underneath this thing. Now I need a longer screw. No, I don't. I get, had it going reverse instead of forward. <laughs> Go for Okay. Now I just got to blend in the base once again. I've indicated on the base where the screw is and I have to have them undo to get the uh, dog off if they want to make a mold of it separately. Well, it's basically done. I'm going to come down tomorrow and take one more look at it. Uh, ch check every uh, undercut. I see one right there I need to fill. And uh, get this thing ready to go to the foundry next week. There's another one there. So I'll get this finished up tomorrow and then now I'm going to be ready to take it to the foundry. So we all... all right, that's going to be it for tonight and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.